Welcome to Saldos Latvia. I am back here for the third season and this is a very big season. This year, our goal is to get to the first league, the Verse League. Right now, we're currently competing in the Nakotnes Liga, if I pronounce that correctly. That is the second league in Latvia. Very good level, but we think this year we have the potential to get to the first league. We brought a coach in from Germany. Really, really good coach. Very disciplined guy. Getting all the guys in order. And myself and the president Maris Lanmanis, we are doing things behind the scenes and also on the front end to make sure we have the best chance to get to the first league, the Verse Liga. I'm going to take you through my day in the life. I'm going to show you the behind the scenes with the team. Obviously, the weather right now is not the greatest. It's very snowy, but we're doing the best we can. We only got a small little turf field that we're working on. Our grass field we probably can't use for a couple months till about May, which is about two months. So the season is going to start April 8th and most of the games are going to be away. So the first, I think, four or five games will be away. So right now we're at the office and we're going to take a big step today. I'm obviously still playing on the team as a player, a key role in that team, making sure we get up to the first league. But I'm also stepping into the managerial role and that's one of the main reasons I came back here to Latvia. I had a couple offers in the US, but I wanted to come back here to Latvia because I think this is a very untapped market and I think there's a lot of potential in this club, in these boys, and in this city. I'm going to be a managing director of the club, and I really look forward to the growth and the expansion of this club. So you're going to see the goal with this team is to slowly build us up step by step to get to the next level. The most important thing, like I tell all my one-on-one -on -one clients, like I tell you throughout social media, is to build the habits and the routines of a professional. So that's our goal, to build the habits and the routines of these young guys to be a top player. So for the first meal of the day, I'm making myself some oatmeal. So we got one cup, throw it in there. And then we add about two cupfuls of almond milk direct to the mix. And we put it on, I got it on about six here. And I let it sit. I'm going to go do my breath work. So I let it sit. And then as I'm doing my breath work, it cooks up nice and slowly. Made sure to add some cinnamon. So the next step is adding a banana to the mix. And the goal is to just let that sit there. Let the flavors soak in as I go to do my breath work. As you saw, a very important meeting, got that done, did some one-on-one -on -one client programming for about two to three hours. Now I just started cooking up the oatmeal, gonna do some breath work while that oatmeal cooks, eat that oatmeal afterwards, probably go for a nice walk in the sunshine, and then I'm gonna go train in the gym, and then we have team training later. So that's basically the rest of the day. As you guys know, I'm always working hard, working on the business, working on the football, working on my body, working on the mindset. I'm really just trying to go in this year, guys. This is gonna be the best year of my life, I promise you that. Keep coming along, let's get it. So in the beginning of 2023, in middle of January, I really, really wanted to completely change my life through breath work because I know it's super powerful. So through a recommendation, I found a guy online that I've been working with for about two and a half months now, and this stuff has absolutely changed my life. I've shared a lot of the techniques already with a lot of my one-on-one -on -one clients, a lot of my friends who play at top levels, and they say they've never seen anything like it. So my plan is to work with him for the next six months, so about four more months, test myself out as always as the guinea pig, see how it works for me, and then share the techniques with you as well as my one-on-one -on -one private clients who I'm gonna really go in depth with this stuff on because my goal is after working with him practically, I'm gonna study under him theoretically and then apply all that knowledge to you as well as my personal clients. So basically what you're gonna see is I'm gonna do a lot of breath work. Everything needs to come through the nose, no mouth breathing. It's all focused on nasal breathing. So you're gonna see throughout this video, hopefully I can show you as much as possible, there's breath holds, there's different type of cadence breathing, different type of inhale, exhales. Obviously I can't explain it all in this video, but I'm just gonna give you a little introduction because it's super interesting. It's really helped my overall calmness, my energy, how I feel on the field, how fit I am. Usually I'm one of the most aerobically fit guys on the field, but I completely think this is gonna change how I feel on the field 
So I really look forward to applying it in about five weeks when we get on that pitch. As you're gonna see, I'm gonna apply some of the techniques and do the best I possibly can to show you guys what it's all about. So the first technique we're gonna do is just nasal breathing only, walking with one nostril. We do that for 90 seconds on one nostril and then 90 seconds on the other. I'm gonna walk through the entire apartment. If you catch me, you do. If not, sorry. minutes here really really excellent session as you saw I did five sets of a walk to run that's very advanced don't try that you could try that nostril breathing in the beginning and then in the middle I would do one minute of slow nasal breathing and then one minute of cadence breathing which means four seconds in and six seconds out like I talked to you guys before the longer you breathe out the more relaxed you will be now it's time to eat my oatmeal let that digest work a bit more and then head over to the gym this is how that Rick fit oatmeal is looking we got oats we got bananas raspberries blueberries over the peanut butter let's enjoy it so you know what's cool about YouTube today is different than gym time before training it's 4 30 on a Tuesday we start at 7 at the turf pitch I'm gonna take you along Tuesday means it's one of the hardest days of the week. Tuesday and Wednesday are usually the hardest days. Thursday is a light gym session. Friday is a bit of activation for the game. We have a friendly this weekend against FS Yalgava in Yalgava. We got to make sure to win that game. So today I might take you through all the exercises. I might show you a couple here and there. I'm going to do a lot of glute and hip specific stuff. I'll see you in the gym. So like I said, we headed into the gym about two and a half hours before team training and just got the entire body active. Started off with some TRX squats, feet, shoulder width, made sure to really activate the quads as well as the glutes. Then we did a hamstring GDN, which is a global dynamic normalization. Very fancy way of saying a full body stretch, focusing on the posterior chain. We went and did some TRX squats with the feet together for 25 reps. TRX squats, feet apart, knees come together for 25 reps. And we did about 100 reps, so four different variations with this TRX squat, really focusing on a proper posterior pelvic tilt and really engaging the glutes and the quads. Then we hit some glute medius raises, one of my favorite exercises, one of the most important exercises for footballers, especially if you have any groin injuries, any hip problems. These are really going to strengthen the entire hip and that glute region. And I always recommend at least three sets between 30 to 100 reps each side. Then we got into some glute max superficial. I'm sure you've never seen this exercise. It's a fancy one that I learned from a couple good coaches. I put my clients onto it and I love it. Glute max superficial. As you see, we go leg across, leg straight in front, and then leg wider, and then all we're trying to do is drive that heel into the ground. Homies, quick session done. As you saw, just a little prehab, rehab type stuff for the hips, for the groin, for the glutes, making sure they're ready, active to go for the session, and making sure they're strong for the season coming in five weeks. So I did legs today before my meeting, and unfortunately, I didn't know I was gonna vlog today, so I didn't get that, but I've filmed the many leg sessions before you could find right here. I got a nice little leg session, full leg session for you, lower body, you could check that one out, but I will be showing you guys some in the near future. Now I'm about to go home, grab something quick to eat and head over to training. Let's get it. We got some dinner, four eggs, lots of veggies, brown rice, silver sriracha, some Greek yogurt on top and watching my guy Chris Williamson and Cameron Haynes. Let's get it. Nothing like a chill Epsom salt bath post session. I'm gonna do this then get into some stretches. Candlelit vibes, chilling out, then we eat. 